a absolutely crazy piece of news just dropped less than half an hour ago. Toys for Bob is going indie. That's right. Toys for Bob is becoming an independent studio. Let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up, guys? Canadian Guy here, and I am back with a piece of news that quite literally is a gigantic, huge, just implosion of just chaos. Now, I I, I gotta say this. We're kind of going off script here because this is just dropped. This is fresh. This is literally just dropped like half an hour ago or less. And I've been trying to collect information, so forgive me if this video seems a little bit all over the place, but here I am giving you my honest thoughts. If I'm looking down here, I'm just reading notes, so just keep that in your mind as you're watching this video. But Toys for Bob went on their blog today and announced that they are going independent. First, we're going to read the blog and then we're going to analyze it later and kind of break down what this all means, because there is a lot of questions I, I mean, a lot of questions when it comes to what just happened. So without further ado, let's go read the announcement. We're going indie. We're thrilled to announce that Toys for Bob is spinning off as an independent game development studio. Over the years, we've inspired love, joy, and laughter from the inner child in all gamers. We pioneered new IP and new hardware technologies in Skylanders. We raised the bar for best in action remasters in Spyro Reignite Trilogy. We've taken Crash Bandicoot to innovative, critically acclaimed new heights. With the same enthusiasm and passion, we believe that now is the time to take the studio and our future games to the next level. This opportunity allows us to return to our roots as being a small and nimble studio. To make the news even more exciting, we're exploring a possible partnership between our new studio and Microsoft. And while we're in the early days of developing our next new game and a ways away from making any announcements, our team is excited to develop new stories, new characters, and new gameplay experiences. Our friends at Activision and Microsoft have been extremely supportive of our new direction and we're confident that we will continue to work closely together as part of our future. So keep your horns on and your eyes out for more news. Thank you to our community of players for always supporting us through our journey. We can't wait to share updates on our new adventure as an indie studio. Talk to you soon. So I also want to add that I actually reached out to PR and a couple of other sources asking for more details. And I was told that this is all the details that they are currently sharing at the time. You know that I am going to be investigating and pushing to get more details. So if you want to stay tuned for all of that, make sure to subscribe. So what does this mean? Quite literally, if you go on Twitter, there is literally a collapse of questions of people literally saying, what's happening? What What is going to happen? Is is Toys for Bob still be able to work on Crash and Spyro? What's, what's going on? So... We're going to back it up a little bit and we're going to quickly explain a few things before we try to explore what is the possibilities. Let's ask the very first question. What technically is an indie studio? An indie studio is a company that is not financially backed by gigantic publishers. So companies like Activision or Microsoft and even, you know, Sony, they are not backed by them. They have no ownership. So that means Toys for Bob as an indie studio can make whatever decision that they want and make whatever game that they want under their discretion. They are now independent and they can develop their own games their own way. So yes, for those who were freaking out about the Xbox acquisition, Toys for Bob is no longer owned by neither Activision or Xbox. Toys for Bob is their own identity. Toys for Bob is their own studio you don't i don't think people realize how crazy this is i reached out to a couple of my indie friends who are in the indie gaming space and they are all just gobsmacked as to what just happened they have no idea what to think and this is very much almost an unprecedented event this is absolutely crazy however there comes with a bit of a caveat of news that some people initially might see as bad news, but don't worry, as we break down the article again, we can kind of explain some things. So, yes, 
if they are an indie studio, that technically means that they don't own any rights to Crash or Spyro. But again, don't worry. We're going to be covering that in a little bit. And especially, again, like I said, going over the announcement because there are some things that needs to be cleared up. So let's start going through the announcement and I'm going to fill in some details from what I've explored, et cetera, et cetera. So let's get started. This opportunity allows us to return to our roots of being a small and nimble studio, meaning that they can work on what they want, when they want. They literally get to determine what they want to do. And that means if Toys for Bob doesn't want to work on Overwatch, and if they don't want to work on Call of Duty, if they want to exclusively work on colorful platformers for the rest of their lives, they have that option to do so because they are now independent and not owned by any of those bigger publishers. To make this news even more exciting, we're exploring a possible partnership between our new studio and Microsoft. This is a massive key point. Indie companies, while not owned by major publishing companies, can partner up with major publishing companies to work on titles that that major publisher owns. So because Activision owns Crash and Spyro, but Microsoft now owns Activision, it means that Microsoft owns the rights of Crash and Spyro, which means with this line and especially with a couple of other lines, especially the one right at the end, it means that Toys for Bob will very much likely, and it is heavily suggesting that Toys for Bob will still handle content when it comes to Crash and Spyro. However, it will be on their own terms. And each time that they go to work on a new Crash or Spyro is a brand new contract that is pulled up between Microsoft and Toys for Bob. And while we're in the early days of developing our next new game and a ways away from making any announcements, our team is excited to develop new stories, new characters, and new gameplay experiences. Sadly, this implies that whatever it is that they are currently working on, whatever new game this is, Sparrow 4 maybe, they are still in the early days of development. But remember, in this chart that I placed in a video that I made earlier, I had estimated that development for Spyro likely started in around October of 2023. Now, the thing is, is that with all these layoffs and all this acquisition shakeup, I'm sure it has slowed things down likely significantly as well. And them going indie right now is completely crazy. And because of how crazy it is, it's likely going to throw all of their plans into a loop. So we have no idea if they're restarting from scratch. We have no idea if they're continuing where they left off. We have no idea what's going on in terms of that. However, we now know that they are developing a brand new title. Additionally, Toys for Bob can now make their own games and their own IP that's not tied to anything in the past. They could make something completely original that is under their own dime. So brand new titles. Additionally, Toys for Bob could actually partner up with another major publisher and work on games that they own. Some of you might be starting to go a little bit crazy with your thoughts and don't worry in a future video, we're going to be talking about that. But this has happened a number of times in the past as well, where Xbox has teamed up with an indie studio to work on an IP that was owned by another studio. A prime example of this is Dalala Studios, which is an indie studio that partnered up with Microsoft to develop a brand new Battletoads game. Even though Rare was the company that originally had made Battletoads, it was made by a brand new third-party independent company under a contract, which means that this exact type of combo could happen with Toys for Bob when it comes to anything that's owned by Microsoft, as Microsoft has shown evidence with Battletoads and other games in the past as well. Our friends at Activision and Microsoft have been extremely supportive of our new direction, and we're confident that we will continue to work closely together as a part of our future. Again, a blatant, strong suggestion that not only Microsoft, but Activision will also be working with Toys for Bob as well in the future. 
further cementing the idea that Toys for Bob will still very much likely handle a bunch of Crash and Spyro content as they are directly attached to Activision. So, keep your horns on and your eyes out for more news. Thank you to our community of players for always supporting us through our journey. We can't wait to share updates on our new adventure as an indie studio. Talk to you soon. Now, this last line is a huge wink at Spyro. I... I, I'm sorry, you can't convince me otherwise. Of course, hold your horns. Yeah, that's from Spyro, duh. And I think that this means that most likely Toys for Bob is still probably working on a brand new Spyro title. So yeah, th this is just more winks and nudges that's going to suggest that Toys for Bob is currently working on Spyro. This is pretty, pretty blatant if you ask me. Now, there's another question that some people might be asking. What does this mean for Crash Team Rumble? Well, unfortunately, while I was recording this video, a banner update was sent out to Crash Team Rumble and stating that March 4th will be the final content update that's sent out for the game. So, yes, Crash Team Rumble is coming to an end. We're going to be talking about that later on as well, and uh, we'll be going over all the stuff that that includes and what, you know, we'll be covering that in, a, in its own separate video, but... For now, let's get back to about Toys for Bob going indie. So, what are my thoughts? I am scared, but also excited for Toys for Bob. I'm scared because, well, they are not going to have the financial backing that such a gigantic company like Microsoft has. But at the same token of time, they now are free to do whatever they want. I mean, could you imagine Toys for Bob unleashing on the world their creativity just without anybody holding them back, just let them go and let them just develop and make what they want, how they want to. I mean, I think that we might be seeing some absolutely revolutionary work coming out of Toys for Bob in the future, but I have many questions. I have so many, so many questions. Like, how is this even possible? Because again, as I spoke with other indie friends, they all said that this is pretty massive and this is pretty crazy to see happen. So I am very, very curious to see what the future is. Um, it's possible that Toys for Bob could grow even bigger than they were under Activision. It's possible that they could stay very small. It's possible that they could absolutely change the entire paradigm of how Crash and Spyro works. They could technically, if they wanted to, they could not work on Crash and Spyro anymore, and this is the worst news ever. <laughs> At the moment, it, I thought that it was crazy before with the layoffs and the studio, physical studio being shut down, and then all these things happening. I thought it was crazy then, and I somehow it just got turned up to 11. I, I am just bamboozled and shocked. So I, I'm sure that many of you who are currently watching are also bamboozled and shocked. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be keeping everyone posted about this for as long as possible. Uh, the good and the bad and actually the possibilities as well, because what you what we don't realize is the massive amount of possibility that has just opened up for Toys for Bob and other projects. Additionally, tonight on February 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am going to be streaming on YouTube and Twitch. And during that time, we're going to be having the window open for discussion to talk about what's going on. If you have more questions and if there's any updates, I'll be talking about it then. But tonight we'll be playing Spiral Reignited and we'll be exploring everything to just talk about this because this this is absolutely massive. And yeah, again, it'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be on YouTube right on the channel that you're looking at now, also on Twitch. So Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video and our live stream. Bye bye.